Okay. Thanks, Stuart. As, as people come in, um, we'd just like to introduce this session. Um, welcome to the Leosphere, Vaisala, and MeQ Energy Technical Breakout Session. Um, I'd like to introduce um, both um, presenters today. We have Felipe Clavijo, Project Manager for Europe and LATAM for MeQ, and uh, Juliet Martinez, who is the Business Developer for Wind Energy in Latin America and Europe for Leosphere. Without further ado, I'll hand it over to you and remind our audience that you can put questions through on the chat and um, feel free to follow up via the networking function with our presenters. Um, without further ado, adelante. Gracias. Thank you. My name is Juliet Martinez and I think I'm specifically on the business sector and I'm in charge of Latin America and user. He is our local partner in Colombia, represented by Felipe Clavijo. Felipe, I give you the floor so you can introduce yourself. Hi, Juliet. I want to thank UEC for such an important event that they have organized for us. It is very important to disclose the technology uh, MEC Energy has experience in the market. We work in project management for LATAM and Europe. So, we hope that this presentation is to your entire satisfaction. Well, to make a presentation, Leosphere is a French company. It is part of a, a Finnish group, and we have been working in four different sectors. Aviation, meteorology, air quality, and wind power. We have installations all around the world, and we are positioned as world leaders according to the experience that we have, innovation, and quality of the equipment that we provide to our customers. As I've mentioned, MEC Energy is our local partner in Colombia. That is the service side. I don't know, Felipe, do you want to add something? Yes, our customer can be at ease because we are in locations where there is wind power and we do all the local services, we do remote measuring. We are working also with uh, feasibility studies, electromechanic, and we also work on solar. We do consultancy installation and Operation. So we are in consultants, so everything that has to do with construction. And later on, we will talk more in depth about construction. Well, we are involved in different sectors, in wind and solar. We wish to contribute to all the solutions for our, our customers, which are developers and investors, with their projects here in Colombia. We see that the support of Leos we can give you a key on hand so you can execute 100% your projects and measurements. Thank you. Well, the objectives of this presentation is, first of all, uh, we want to introduce to you what is the LiDAR technology, explain a little bit about our applications and benefits. We will be starting by explaining the LiDAR technology. LiDAR, well, those are the acronym for light detection and raging. It is issuing a light, a luminous signal to the atmosphere, and you will find different particles and aerosols that are in the mark that will be a rebound of that luminous signal again. The delta between that luminous side that has been issued and the one that rebound that are 
our sprays will enable us to see the spin, the wind speed at different heights. Today, you will be finding different types of different LiDAR technologies on the market. But what makes us unique and helps us to position ourselves as leader on the market is that we are using uh, pulse technology. We are not a scanning wind. What we do is sending thousands of pulse to the atmosphere per second, and that will enable us to have a better space resolution of the data that we collect. Uh, availability of data, we can make different measurements per second, and that will not be affecting the height. Another advantage is that sometimes you will be having the need to install a sensor to do the reconstruction of the direction of the wind. With pools, it is not necessary to do so because the reconstruction of the direction of the wind is made independently. So there is not a mechanical thing involved, so that guarantees our customers a useful life cycle. The different range that we have are based on two, ones that are installed on land and the other ones that is going to be on the turbine. Those installed on wind, we will be focusing on the vertical profile. I will explain to you in few words a little bit of the future features of each one of one. Vertical relation is for wind resources also used to have little power curves, among others. 300 meters and up to 12 different heights. We have the wind scan. It will be scanning 360 degrees, up to 10 kilometers distance. For evaluation of resources, projects of research and development, and wind cubes that are installed, that comes with a tripod, it is appearing on wind farms and it is for power, power curves, disalignment, and control of turbines, among other applications that are available on wind farms. Reaching 700 meters, and you can establish 20 different measurement heights. Turbine control does not have this tripod. The reason is that it is being used by the manufacturers of the turbines that need to internally control the performance of the turbine. What we will be doing is to install this equipment permanently And the wind cube will be controlling the inside of the turbine in order to manage it and see the performance of that turbine. That is the difference with in those two equipment. Um, this is a wind cube lighter for onshore. This is our full offer. What does a customer get when he by that, well, the most compact equipment in the market, 55 centimeters times 55, uh, lowest consumption in the market as well, 45 watts nominal, a very easy to install, 
not more than half a day uh, for installing the wind cube. We have the classification three, and uh, we are compliant with IE 61-412 edition two. Um, on general terms, when you use your wind cube, all the data that you will be unloading will be bankable. When you have a measurement uh, wind campaign uh, that will be useful, you will be able to vertical wind measurement, but I will be talking much more in detail later on in my presentation. And then you have the FDR, that is flux flow complexity distribution for complex areas, a key on hand solution or local partners that we have in all the countries worldwide. We offer our customers everything, installation, on logistics when importing the equipment, we deliver a full package of satellite communication when you don't have a signal on site. Security with uh, trailers, among others. And talking about security, we also include as an option a GPS that will be tracking the wind cube in case that it will be move from outside the perimeter that it has to be installed. You will be receiving notification where that wind cube is found. Talking about local services now, I will give the floor um, to MEC Energy so they can tell us about their services in Colombia. Thank you, Juliet. Um, the most important thing for customers that acquire a remote equipment for wind, we assure transportation of the equipment. So they don't need to do any formality regarding it. We were hand in hand with Leosphere and answering to Juan Pablo's question, it is very important to say that we have a perimeter established in order to prevent theft or vandalism. We can also include a CCTV so we can have a surveillance on the equipment 24 hours a day. We do an on-site prospection visit in order to provide the best location and the perimeter that has to be uh, secured. We will be doing the necessary measurements over 50 meters of a scope with the support of Mechanergy. And we will be doing relocation. In addition to that, we pull the power park that can be using both models according to the solar panel and methanol cartridges that will enable us to have autonomous operation on energy and efficiency data in order to pre not to obstruct the data reading. According to what Juliet has mentioned, that we do know very well the different areas in Colombia, so we need know how to do the satellite connection and the weight of the data that's so important. We can guarantee an excellent signal and data reading for our customers. And we have remote support on site for anything that will require an on-site intervention. We 
it is also important to say that we configure and uh, start the equipment. So uh, we give the equipment already running for our customers. That is important. The most important thing is to do the on-site visit so we can determine exactly what our customer needs. Uh, additional services is meteorological towers. We do the civil work and the structure key on hand as well. Um, we supply, we manufacture, and we provide all the instrument, instrument equipment in order for our customer to rely on us the entire project either with a leader or we do also feasibility for hydro we do pros geotechnical studies on turbines and generators hydromechanic equipment and we are in charge of the structural side and the vulnerability of the structures we build infrastructure for all types of projects here in Colombia traditional systems and we do reinforcement in order to help our customers and the better so their projects will have a longer life. Thank you, Felipe. Um, to talk once again about our wind cube, the advantages of using a wind cube. Well, as I said before, for any project, either greenfield of a wind resources uh, to measure power curves, the data that you will be downloading will be bankable. That is very important and you have to keep that in mind. You don't need any kind of licensing for wind, to install wind cup. For meteorological, you will have the validation of the equipment. You are also having to pay for a license, but with WinCube you will be free of all those formalities. It's very flexible, no license is required, and then you can have it in one place for six months or one year time, and if after that you want to change locations or either Take it out of the country, you can do it. That is a standalone, so it is possible to install the Winkle without a meteorological um, mass. We have a case study on this, and another of the advantages is that it will be complementing the data of this meteorologic mast and then it will be preventing horizontal and vertical and that will be improving the analysis that is required by investors. When you compare the capex and opex on meteorological mast, you will see that you are paying a lot of money because what I was saying you don't need to invest to install or uninstall the wind queue. You don't want have to wait for a license to be issued as you would have to do with the mast or pole. Um, the full um, guarantee period of the wind curve is three years time. After that, you have to perform a preventive maintenance service. Us in Latin America, 
we love to do carry out studies. Uh, this has been carried out by a university in Denmark, and there are experts on wind. We took measurements with solar, leader, and meteorologic master pool. So what were the results? LiDAR versus solder. You can have availability of data with LiDAR at higher heights. In solder, you have low recovery above the 100 meters high. Secondly, correlation of LiDAR in regards to mass is what we had. That is what you can see in the image on the screen. If it reaches one, it means that the measurement is perfect. If you want to have more information on this study, please write to me, give me your email address on the chat, and I will send you all the information because I'm not able to present the entire study at this moment. Other thing we wanted to reduce in uncertainty using the pole, the lighter, and meteorologic data. Pole versus lighter. And something that I want to highlight, the improvement that we saw in 1950, that is something that we're highly interested in. As you can see, using the light and in a standalone, we had an improvement at 85 lighter. Uh, beside the pole, exactly the same. So the LiDAR does not need the support of meteorological pole when we're talking about uh, on shore. This is a study that I was telling you about to give you the context. They wanted to carry out uh, wind resources measurement project. It was not possible for them to have a pole around. They found a specific location where they were able to install the lighter. As you can see in the image, it is a location where the wind will be homogeneous because it is a plane so it is possible to measure the wind with the lighter on a simple or flat land. Availability of data, 99.8%. So, if you want to have further information, please let me know and I will be sending it to you. Um, software flow continuity recognition, that is where the wind is homogeneous, there is no problem whatsoever, but when we have some obstacles on the land which are complex, where there is small mountains, hills, among others, the flow will be heterogeneous and we will have some wind effects that we need to measure with more detail. This integrated software, FCR, will be using the coordinates. We will take topographic data of that site and with flow dynamic used by the software, we will be correcting data on real time. At the moment that you will be downloading data, you will have the radial measurements and the measurements of corrective, corrective data. 
you will not need to process information afterwards. The software will be correcting the data right away. And you don't have to pay an additional cost for that. That is part of the standard that is provided. I also told you that we can make a ver direct vertical measurement of wind direction. And because we have four laser beams in this wind cube, one in the middle that will enable us to measure the direct vertical di wind direction. This is very important to take it into account. First of all, you will not have to make a correlation of the data, of horizontal data, to see what will be the direct vertical measure of the wind. It will be direct. So the manufacturer of turbines, they like very much this beam that has been located in the middle to have the characterization of the sites and to assess the sites where uh, complexity when we have a lot of complexity because of the land. There are three different ways of using the standard one is uh, the manufacturing validation. We will be sending a wind cube and we will be calibrating it that we call them golden lighter and we will be calibrating it with an expert. They will be issuing a certificate and we will be using that same wind cube to calibrate the rest of the equipment. Ones that we will be shipping to our, our, the equipment to our customers, we will be sending a calibration certificate with the golden one. Depending on the project, often the customers will be asking you to calibrate the LiDAR before launching measuring campaign. However, final customer doesn't need to be an expert. They want to have a wind cube installed. So we have to calibrate again lighter with the meteorological pole that they have it available and they leave it there for a certain number of months. And for the investors and final customers that require validation by an expert, we send the in-cube before shipping it to the questions to, in order it to be calibrated. And then they will be issuing the wind cube calibrated with their certificate for the customer. That's how we do things. And now I want to talk about wind cube nacelle that is used in onshore and offshore projects for vertical wind cube. There's another option that you can put in a buoy or offshore platform if you have maritime projects. The, we have both versions available. What is wind cube nacelle lighter? As I explained, it is being installed in the nacelle of the turbine to measure power curves, performance on the turbine, to control turbine. And what happens with this wind cube is that you will be choosing, as you can see in, on the screen, 20 different measurement ranges. You will be downloading the data real time per second every Second can be downloading or the measure that you specify or oh, the ranges, the ranges you mean. Yes, precisely. 
And what is the data that you will be able to download? First of all, the horizontal that will be respecting the standard as well. You will be able to download information on the stale uh, effect, turbulence, and that is well known as the GUST, that is the speed, the wind speed according to the rotor. Case of application for this equipment, as I previously explained to you, is on the core on operation and contractual. That is important, so able uh, and transfer and scan, wind scanning, and research and development of uh, wind behavior. Something that is very important is the use of the wind cube nozzle. It is a regular practice in for off road shore projects or maritime projects, most of the developers and turbine manufacturer offshore include this equipment within their supply turbine agreements. It is important to know that and on the onshore projects, it is much more convenient than a meteorological pole because of what I have already explained. The practice is becoming usual and by mid next year, we will be having turbines, including this type of um, equipment, uh, such as a wind curve nozzle. It is cheaper uh, than the meteorological pole because of the reasons that I explained previously. Simix uh, Gamesa carried out this study for an evaluation for contractual power. That one is onshore and wind tides, but that is a previous name f that uh, has now been named wind cube nozzle. It has four laser beams at the nozzle. The reduction in cost is what we see on the screen. It was made possible to have a measurement range that was wider, as you saw in the previous image. Uh, this power curve was faster. The capability of measuring the range that are short or in induction and the ranges that are longer um, were made possible. And then we can adapt it to different rotor sizes. And later on, I will be explaining a, a little bit more about that. This study has been carried out by WPD uh, for transfer of the NASA. The campaign was launched for six weeks on a simple or flat land. And the results were that the NASA, we discovered that the Nassel was underestimating the speed of the wind in 6%. This is very important to know because that will lead us to an overestimation of the uh, turbine performance. So we need full study. Uh, and if you wish to have the entire information on this study, please let me know and I will send it to you after this presentation. You will have to understand the performance of your turbine. You will have a constant measuring distance and a quite varied one to assess the wind flow. The equipment is faster than meteorological pole and it is compatible and it is universal. That is to say the wind curve can be used in any type of turbine in the market. There is no specific turbine 
to which it adapts. You can install it in any type. We have the software. You will be able to have access to the data thanks to that software in a very friendly manner. Secure and friendly. You no need a license to make that installation. And according to the acceptance of the equipment, well, the norm that will be issued next year will be including the measurement of a power curve. Uh, there is already a draft. We are expecting that to be published next year. And we will have independent certification, as I've mentioned before. And we have already carried out so many projects with them for research and application purposes. So, to conclude, how can we process the data for WindCube NASA? Well, we will give you Insight analytics, and you will be able to have the turbine and the wind data. It will be easier for you to carry out a full analysis in a faster way. We simplify time synchronization. As I was saying, you will be able to be calculating of when yearly put wind potential on a yearly basis, among other things. The software or the platform is based on the current standards. That is important to take into account and has the transparency integrity of our calculations completely confidential the information for this wind cube and for the others. It is fully confidential. The customer is owner of the data that is being downloaded. Not even us have access to that data. We will always have access if you grant us your permission as customers. Now, these are the companies that have trusted us and with whom we have been carrying out projects during the 16 years that we have been on the market. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you want us to send you the case studies, please write me and it will be a great pleasure for me to send them to you. Right now we will be going to our stand. We will be um, remain connected. We will be doing another presentation in case you have questions and we will be able at that moment to answer to your questions because right here we were short on time. Thank you so much, Juliet.